Hello everyone. Uh, we are already seen economic interpretation of duality. So based on that understanding, we will now see uh, what will be the differences between this primal and dual problem. Suppose if primal is about uh, maximizing about maximizing Z, then dual will become minimize Z star. Suppose if primal is minimize Z, then dual will become maximize Z star. <laughs> Suppose if the primal has uh, X or I can put it as uh, M constraints. Let me rewrite it. M number of constraints. Then dual will have M number of variables. And the primal's objective functions coefficients, objective function coefficients of the primal will become right hand side constants, RHS constants in the constraints of dual. <laughs> If primal has got less than or equality sign in constraints, then dual will have greater than or equality sign in constraints. Similarly, if this primal has got greater than or equality in constraints, then our dual will have less than or equality in constraints. If the primal's technological coefficient matrix, technological coefficient matrix, if it is A, then here, the technological coefficient matrix will become A transpose, means the row elements will become column elements, column will be elements will become row elements. Uh, maximize, minimize, number of constraints, number of variables, objective function coefficients. Then the right hand side constants RHS constants in the constraints will become objective function coefficients in the dual. Opposite. Similarly, if this has got uh, n number of variables, here it will become n number of constraints. So these are some of the rules which we follow to convert a primal to a dual problem, which we will see in our subsequent videos.
in case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you i request you to please like it share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel thank you